I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. You cannot teach a person anything. You can only help him find it within himself. The sun, with all the planets revolving around it, and depending on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as though it had nothing else in the universe to do. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. All truths are easy to understand once you find them. The point is to discover them. Measure what is measurable, and make measurable what is not so. I've grown too fond of the stars to be fearful of the night. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. Who would set a limit to the mind? Who would dare assert that we know all there is to be known? The increase of known truths stimulates the investigation, establishment, and growth of the arts. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. Enthusiastic people experience life from the inside out. And, believe me, if I were again beginning my studies, I should follow the advice of Plato and start with mathematics. Passion is the genesis of genius. To apply oneself to great inventions, starting from the smallest beginnings, is no task for ordinary minds. To divine that wonderful arts lie hid behind trivial and childish things is a conception for superhuman talents. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. Mathematics is the language with which God has written the universe. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it and dependent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as if it had nothing else in the universe to do. With regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them. It is a beautiful and delightful sight to behold the body of the moon. And yet it moves. Long experience has taught me this about the status of mankind with regard to matters requiring thought. The less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them, while on the other hand to know and understand a multitude of things renders men cautious in passing judgment upon anything new. Measure what can be measured, and make measurable what cannot be measured. The greatness and the glory of God shine forth marvelously in all his works, and is to be read above all in the open book of the heavens. I think that in the discussion of natural problems we ought to begin not with the scriptures, but with experiments and demonstrations. In the future, there will be opened a gateway and a road to a large and excellent science into which minds more piercing than mine shall penetrate to recesses still deeper. Wine is sunlight, held together by water. I entertain no doubts as to the truth of the transfinites, which I have recognized with God's help. By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. To me, 
A great ineptitude exists on the part of those who would have it that God made the universe more in proportion to the small capacity of their reason than to his immense, his infinite, power. Where the senses fail us, reason must step in. I think that tastes, odors, colors, and so on, reside in consciousness. Hence if the living creature were removed, all these qualities would be wiped away and annihilated. The fear of infinity is a form of myopia that destroys the possibility of seeing the actual infinite even though it in its highest form has created and sustains us. See now the power of truth. The same experiment which at first glance seemed to show one thing, when more carefully examined, assures us of the contrary. I've loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. In the sciences, the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. Names and attributes must be accommodated to the essence of things, and not the essence to the names, since things come first and names afterwards. The Bible shows the way to go to heaven, not the way the heavens go. Beware of a friend who cannot cry in front of you because it is a sign of distrust. They seem to forget that the increase of known truths stimulates the investigation, establishment and growth of the arts, not their diminution or destruction. In time you may discover everything that can be discovered and still your progress will only be progress away from humanity. The distance between you and them can one day become so great that your joyous cry over some new gain could be answered by an universal shriek of horror. It is surely harmful to souls to make it a heresy to believe what is proved. Philosophy is written in that great book which ever lies before our eyes. I mean the universe, but we cannot understand it if we do not first learn the language and grasp the symbols in which it is written.